Hi, my name's Andrea Thompson, mum to Jordan Thompson, who I lost um, to leukaemia. Jordan was a um, keen footballer from a very, very young age. He started off in a boys' club um, and then he got chosen to play for Newcastle United Academy, which was obviously a parent's dream, but most importantly, Jordan's dream. Jordan was diagnosed in 2006 in the February with AML, which is acute myeloid leukaemia. How close are we to finding a cure for cancer? Good question. He had six months intensive treatment, got through it no problem. Um, it was hard obviously, but he got through it and went on to lead a normal life. One of the things Jordan did say to me um, when he got through it all um, and was in remission was that he could either walk away, forget the whole experience and get on with his life, or he could help other children, teenagers of the future. The most difficult part was when you found out, yeah? Yeah. So, like, were you, like, really, really frightened at the time? Well, I was more... I was kind of OK with hearing it, but the day after, I just, like, I kind you. of broke down. Yeah. So, like... I don't think, like, children shouldn't have to go through this, should they? No. I mean, like, scientists, like, they should try and find a cure. Sadly, um, 11 months later, Jordan relapsed and he had to go on to have a bone marrow transplant. Again, Jordan, being the positive kind of person that he was, said, you know, turned around to me and said, that's OK, ma'am, I've done it the first time, I'll do it the second time, um, which he did. He got through it, he had his bone marrow transplant, but then, unfortunately, near to the end of coming out of hospital, Jordan got an infection which sadly took him from us. I've set up the Toma Fund in memory of Jordan. Um, the Toma Fund being, you know, Jordan, Jordan Thompson, a.k.a. Toma, which was obviously what people called him, his friends, new Mars. Tragically, since Jordan died, Sophie Atte, his cousin at the age of two, also lost her fight to this dreadful disease. The Toma Fund is now dedicated to the memory of Jordan and Sophie. Thankfully, we have been able to raise the profile of the Toma Fund with the involvement of celebrities such as Noel Edmonds, who enabled us to be seen on national television. Andrea found the strength to keep Jordan's memory alive by continuing what he started, raising awareness and funds for the youngsters in Newcastle-upon-Tyne NHS Trust hospitals. So far, Andrea has raised almost, wait for it, 400 thousand pounds. It's an incredible achievement. This office is yours. This is our gift to you for the charity. I thought that this might be a fitting way to ensure the future of the charity and to make sure that Jordan's name lives on. Thank you. I want you to meet your new patron. Hello. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was just such a lovely surprise of somebody like, you know, David Ginola on board. Couldn't have asked for anything more. It means a great deal because the connection's there and I just think Jordan would be so, so proud and so grateful. This is about charity and when it comes to charity, every single person should have big heart to give uh, something back. If I can contribute to help this charity, uh, I would be more than happy. He was a lovable, Young lad, he went on to achieve so much in life. There was many a time he would say, you know, am I going to die? And I would just say to him, no, Jordan, you're not. He said, well, when I get through this, ma'am, I want to raise as much money as possible for other children that have to go through this. And that's what he wanted to do. And when we lost him, I just thought, right, I'm going to challenge all my energies into this and do it for him. I think if I didn't do it, then I'd fear that he was forgotten and I never want that to happen.
to continue our valuable work, we need your help to enable us to support more families who have a child with cancer. Please give generously.